Hi, Stewart Creek family. This is Miss Dossi. I want to walk you through how to log on to RazKids.com and get to your assignments that teachers have assigned for you. Okay, so here we are on RazKids.com. You're going to click on the screen rectangle, Kids Login. Okay, now it takes you to this page and you have to type in your teacher's username, which should be at, on your login card. JDossie6 is the username for this account, so I type it in and press go. Then it pulls up um, all of my students for this account. You're going to find your name and click on it. I have a test student here. I'm going to click on that student. And now I have to enter my password. This is also on your login card. Okay, now when I get to this page, it has a little robot on it. It shows me how many books I have listened to, how many I've read, and how many quizzes I've passed. If I go down on the screen, it's going to show me a box that says reading assignments. I want you to click here and I have two reading assignments. It's really important that you do your assignments before you choose books on your level to read for pleasure, okay? So here it shows, this is one I already worked on, so I've already listened to it, I've read it, but I did not pass my quiz. So I would need to go back in, reread, and take the quiz again, okay? And you can take the quiz several times, okay? But each time you need to reread before you attempt the quiz. So I'm going to show you what it looks like when you click on a new assignment. Okay, so here's my book, The Empty Pot, and the first thing I want to do is listen to the book. Okay. So it's going to read the book to me, okay, and I'm going to listen. And you want to go to the next page when you're ready. You're going to click next. It's kind of loading slow right now. Okay, so you would go through and listen to the book, okay, until the end. After you've listened to the book, you should see this screen and it's checked off the little headphones to show that you've already listened to the book. So now you can move on to reading the book. So you click on the book and now you can read, okay? I'm gonna show you some little features that are on here. So when I'm reading, let's say I get to a word that I'm not sure what it is. I can click on that word and I can have it read to me. I just press, press here word, and it will read the word to me. I can also highlight that word if I'd like to come back to it when I read again, okay? There's some tools up here. You can draw on it. You can put a stamp. Let's say you see something important that you want to look at when you reread. I can get a little stamp out. I can put Let's say I want to put a stamp right here on the house. That's something important I want to look at when I go back to the book, okay? Then I can keep reading, okay? I would suggest reading the book two times before you go and record, okay? So once you are done, I'm going to click through the book. I'm going to show you what it looks like when you're done. Okay, so after you've read it, it will look like this. So you've listened to it, you've read it, and now you can do the quiz. But before you do the quiz, I want you to go back and reread. And this time, I want you to record your reading. Recording your reading is important because it helps guide your teacher in instructing you, knowing when to move you to a ne the next level or what tips to give you to help you in your reading. Okay, so I'm gonna show you when you go back you can click on the book. I'm gonna read this time, but this time I'm going to record.
So when I get to that first page, right here, I'm going to hit the recorder. And here, it's not going to start until I press this recording button, okay? A long time ago, there was a boy named Chen. He lived in China with his mother. They lived in a house full of beautiful flowers and other plants from their garden. I can hit the pause button if I want to. I can um, stop if I want to and start again, okay? When you're done, you can go back and press play and listen to your, re to your recorded reading, okay? Once you finish, that recording will be there so your teacher is able to go back and listen to it, like I said, okay? Okay, it's important that when you're done recording that you press the stop button Okay, you can always restart that with the little blue restart. Okay, but when you're done, make sure that you say that you're done recording. Okay, once you finish that reading it again and recording it, it'll be back to this screen. So now you can do the quiz. So you'll click on the question mark. And it'll take you to the quiz. So you'll have multiple choice questions to answer. You'll go through, you must answer all of them, and then hit done, okay? So let's go back to my assignments. I'm going to show you down on my assignments. Obviously, we didn't complete that quiz, but had we completed it and passed it, we would have another check mark. This is one, like I said, I completed, but I did not pass. So it's telling me that I need to take that quiz again, okay? So once you're done with your assignments, okay, and you're ready to log off, you just go up here to your three um, little dots and you're going to log off. Okay, so once you log out um, and you have those recorded readings, like I said, your teacher will be able to listen to those readings and see how you're doing and assign you another book. Okay, please do not hesitate to send me any questions about um, this video. My email is jennifer.dossey, D-O-S-S-E-Y, at misd.org. Thank you.